Hi, kings and queens. Sandra Fairway, your mortgage consultant. I wanted to come on and talk to you about liens and different liens that could be against your property. Now, when you purchase a home, it is your home. It is deeded to you. It is recorded in your county or your state. And it says this is the owner of this home. But if you purchase that home using a loan, then that loan becomes a lien against your property or a mortgage. It's your first mortgage. Okay, so um, your home is a part of your net worth. So if anything, it, it's an asset to you. So if anything happens, then people could come for that home and put liens against that home to get their money out of your asset. That's part of your net worth. So the mortgage company, first of all, puts a lien on your, on your property. That becomes your first mortgage. Now, let's say you're getting down payment assistance, right? So most down payment assistance are not grants. They are loans that you have to repay. Some of them are, have terms like you keep it for three years and after that it's forgiven. But it's still initially it's a loan. So that becomes your second mortgage. It's also a lien against your property. So if anything happens and you and you can't repay these loans, then you're they're going to take your home, they're going to sell it, and then the first mortgage is paid first, and then the second mortgage is paid. So that's how the first and second mortgage work. So, but there could be other liens against your property. There could be a solar panel, like I used that in the previous video. If you get a, a loan to get a solar panel, that becomes a lien on your home as well. So uh, then you can get a lien for uh, if you owe people money. So if someone sues you and you have a judgment against you, they can put in an order to take the money from your house. So they can put a lien against your property that way. You can get a mechanics lien. Um, if you have gotten some work done to your house and you didn't pay that uh, contractor, that contractor can put a lien against your house. Uh, you can get a fam family court lien, which means that you may owe some alimony to your ex and you all haven't paid that. They can put a lien against your property. Um, there are different types of liens that can be in your property. That's why it's important for you to stay in touch with your title company after you close your loan because your title company, your title insurance, is responsible for finding out what's attached to the title of your house. Because uh, those things, once they enter that lien in on your house, it goes on your title. So I've had people come to refinance their home and they had liens against it that they didn't even know about. Um, some people had like down payment assistance liens and they didn't know that they even got down payment assistance because they didn't read the fine print. So it's, it's important to form a relationship with your title agent know about your title insurance, know who to call just in case something is put against your title of your house so you don't get surprised by anything, any types of liens on your property. If you have any questions about liens, please give me a call. You have my cell, 301-326-7555. You can comment below. You can DM me. You can text me. Um, so you can call me if you need to. Thank you, guys. Please like and share and comment. Bye.